Okay, and welcome to the show. Today we're going to be making a chicken broccoli stir fry. Uh, for this, we need about a pound of broccoli cut up nicely, uh, medium sized onions sliced thinly. We need some nice fresh garlic, although I like to use the bottle, it's so much easier. <laughs> you need, well, this is about probably two pounds of nice chicken breast diced up. You're going to need some chicken stock, some ginger. I have powdered ginger, but I actually, um, we powdered this ourselves. You're going to want to use fresh ginger some honey, oil, soy sauce, and rice wine vinegar, okay? Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to douse the chicken in rice wine vinegar, okay? <coughs> this will be a couple of tablespoons. <coughs> and just get it all covered. This is going to velvet the chicken. Oh, you're going to need some water too. Don't mind about that. So. This is going to bell with the chicken a little bit because we're going to be frying this up in the wok. Okay, once you get this inundated like this, you leave this, oh, for about 10 minutes or so. Okay, so let's just fast forward to that part. Okay, here we have the wok up, about a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons of oil on the bottom. I have a nice uh, electric wok, so I don't have to put as much in, but if yours is a not as well seasoned as it could be. Okay, so we just do this and everybody in the kitchen shuts up. Okay. I'm going to toss a little bit so that the chicken is nice and spread out. Okay. Just want to keep tossing so we don't want anything to stick anywhere. Okay, uh, we just cook the chicken all the way through. Uh, it's going to take a few minutes, especially with the amount of chicken I have the size of my wok. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Okay, now while the chicken is cooking, we're going to be making the sauce. For this, we're going to need about three quarters of a cup of water, about a tablespoon of chicken powder. I mean chicken, you know, this stuff. Man, chicken bouillon powder, sorry. We're going to need about a teaspoon of ginger. Okay. We're going to need about a half a cup of soy sauce. Actually, I get a three quarters of a cup. I don't know why I said half a cup. Brain freeze. Duh. Give me your garlic. Now, this is like two whole cloves crushed, so quite a bit of garlic. Okay. From here, we need a bit of honey. Now, the original recipe calls for actually quite a bit of honey, but we're just going to add a bit, maybe a quarter of a cup. Now this is a once in a while thing, so don't worry too much about the honey. Uh, honey's not that bad when you look at it in the grand scheme of things. Okay, so you want to stir this up nicely. Make sure everything's not exactly smooth, but you want it to be Pretty mixed. Okay. Now remember, this dish also makes enough for about four or five people, so don't worry too too much about that, honey. Not good for induction. More of a ongoing weight loss type of meal. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Now let's get over there to the chicken. Okay, and as you can see, the chicken is beautiful at this point. Uh, starting to get a bit of color, well cooked all the way through. So we're going to remove it from the heat. the vegetables. Ok, 
Okay, now we got that removed through the heat. And we're going to add our, uh, our broccoli and onion. And our mushrooms. Now, what will happen is there we go. Okay, we're going to uh, stir that up every once in a while. Well, as the moist, as it cooks, the moisture will start to come out of it, and it'll take all that beautiful pond off the bottom of the pot. Let's just fast forward a little bit. Okay, now you want to have this cooked until you know the, the onions and the mushrooms were a little bit softened and the broccoli was you know pretty soft but tender. Now from here we're gonna add the sauce. You will notice there's a lot of residue on the bottom of the wok. That's the fawn from the meat and the uh, vegetables, and that just all went away. As soon as the liquid from the sauce touched it, that all just absorbed right into the sauce. Okay, so we wanna get this up to a boil, and we're gonna simmer it for a couple of minutes, okay? Uh, it's gonna take a little bit, so I'm gonna fast forward until it's simmering, because then we're gonna start eating chicken and doing all kinds of fun stuff. Okay, now we've been simmering that for a couple of minutes, and as you can see, everything's sort of picking up a nice color, and the smell in here is really good. Okay, now we're going to take our pre-cooked chicken, and we're going to add that in now. Drop these, and we're going to give it a stir. Now this is where we would season it to taste. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper, just because that's how I roll. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm actually quite a big of a pepper fan. Now, traditionally, they would serve this with rice or whatever. Uh, if you check out my videos, I'll actually put a link uh, right around here somewhere for my Chinese fried rice video so that you can add that. It's actually a nice cauliflower rice because you don't want to be using real rice with this. <laughs> You know, add a cup of this or so with the uh, the rice, and that'll make a beautiful meal. Now, like I said, it has a bit of honey in it, so don't be overly concerned. Because it's this is for a lot of people. And it's a once-in-a-while thing, so, you know, don't be too heartbroken. Okay, uh, so if you like this video and you... If you like this video and you want to share it, that's great. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, tell all your friends. Uh, bathroom graffiti, I'm not against bathroom graffiti, whatever. Just put my name out there. You know, the keto cooking, just keto, the keto cooking. Anyway, yeah, the keto cooking. I think we're going to call it that, but I'm going to spell it the right way. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. So, yeah, like if you want to scribble that on like bathroom walls and stuff for like for a fun time, go to youtube.com and search up the keto, the keto cooking. Yeah, keto cooking. I'm going to figure it out one of these days. If you have like a recommendation of how I should pronounce this show? Yeah, put it in the comment section below. Okay? Okay, peace out.